A topic that seems to come up a lot when speaking to people about veganism is whether we are herbivores, omnivores, or carnivores. One of the things that I could have chosen to do in this video is simply sit you guys down and start to go through all of the facts. You know, things like, like herbivores, when we eat, our jaw moves side to side instead of in a shearing motion. Our canines are short and blunt, like herbivores. Our liver cannot detoxify vitamin A, like herbivores. Our small intestine is 10 to 11 times the length of our bodies, similar to herbivores. But, I'm not gonna do any of that. Because in my personal opinion, I think that is all completely irrelevant. It's irrelevant because it's been proven time and time again by science and by people giving examples using their own bodies that unless you have a specific eating disorder, the human body is more than capable of thriving on a vegan diet. You have Patrick Babomian, Germany's strongest man who has broken multiple world records since becoming vegan. Robert Cheek, who has been vegan and steroid free from the age of 15. Nate and Nick Diaz, two top-notch vegan MMA fighters. There is nothing of nutritional value in animal products that you cannot get from a plant-based source. Assuming that you live in a first world country, which, judging from the fact that you're actually watching my video on a computer of some kind or cellular device, you do, then there is absolutely no excuse for you to be contributing to this. 